Okay, welcome back guys. Well, Arcane Odyssey being updated. I'm not gonna lie. I did lose hype after the last update on Arcane Odyssey. It was pretty devastating. Well, for my enjoyment of the game at least. But next update is coming out on Friday the 31st, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Right, which from the day we upload this will be, let's see. Yeah, three days later after when this is updated, but I just wanted to go over like what's new and like as you can see, right, I'm moving over to the pictures first because that's way easier to understand, right? But we'll talk about the spare weapons in a little bit. But first, we have the Avery Walker's Blade for Arcane Odyssey. I, I assume that's a new boss. I'm not sure. The lore is just the slashed curse user who died on Blasted Rock Island according to Arcane Odyssey lore. So I mean if you guys aren't familiar with Blasted Rock, it's the island with a huge tornado in the middle of it. So that's what this is all about. I mean looks very cool. I love it. Like you get that ancient desert vibe, you know. Bunch of slashes, you know. Wow. I love this crack here on like the edge of the blade here like that is that one's nice and then well here is spirit magic the more important part at least I would like to say myself so it's a short description of the next update it will include the end of chapter 7 of the story right so the level cap to level 140 uh huh Along with oh yeah weapon customization so you can basically customize it like how you do it with your magic except you can like move different weapon skills to another weapon right um yeah I like I believe how weapon customization work is you can disarm which means you remove a skill in the blacksmith right remove a skill from a weapon and you can transfer it to another weapon by the blacksmith probably you know uh, yeah I mean nothing too crazy I mean if you're a weapon main this is very huge for you um, I mean like I, I, I just play the game for the magic honestly that's why I'm more hype about spirit magic which is shown in the pictures here right here's some of the visual for spirit magic they feel like a little bit like the contrast like darker like if that makes any sense, there's like a dark outline to the spirit magic as you can see from like, well, whatever visuals we have here. Um, lightning spirit blast, okay, um, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. They look about the same except a little bit darker which is nice, um, but yeah, let's get into the details on Trello, right? Um, that's usually where they post the details for the updates, right? We got like a billion other items so you can crash your inventory when you open your inventory. You can't even play the game at that point. <laughs> Which is amazing. We love that. So, yeah, you, you better set our inventory. I'm just talking about mainly myself. And well, a few other people I know. <laughs> if you're watching, oh god, please sell your inventory. Stop it. Get some help. You don't need a million worth of like galleon in your inventory plus right like most people if you have a million galleon you start crashing so that's bad but let's see here we go um here's paladin build paladin build which is vitality and magic no longer gain a second magic as the first awakening but instead gain the ability to imbue their magic into spare weapon which you know is basically conjurer weapon and like magic right um but spirit uh man i i don't really get it it sounds cool but it just makes the system more complicated i feel like this isn't good but i mean it's good for us if we want to try out some new gameplay but yeah Okay, and the ability to imbue the spirit energy into magic spell. So, you can basically do both if you're a paladin. Which is kind of cool, I mean... Let's see, and then it talks about the power of the god's awakening, which I assume is spirit magic. 
Um, due to the player's blood, this is dip dip dip. I can't say this one, guys. Oh man. Anyway, due to this awakening, also caused their spirit energy to change visually. Due to a reaction caused by the spirit energy mixing with magic energy. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it basically means you probably take some damage, like the drawback stand. If you're familiar with that in Arcane Odyssey. Anyways, um, you'll take some damage when you cast your spells, so that's great. I, I don't know, man. But now, let's see. Yeah, it says spirit magic weapon right won't affect the NPC paladins. Unfortunately, kind of lame, kind of lame. Now, this one explains how like the spirit energy works, like a visual effect, I guess. So if you're neutral, you're like teal blue. If you're a bad guy, you're purple and like red, you know, I just summarize it because, yeah, I mean, nothing crazy, I mean, let's see, it also says a little bit of spoiler, if you guys haven't done the story, guys, I mean, if you're watching, I assume most of you have done the story, but basically, you get red energy for your spirit magic, whatever, if you kill Elias, so, yeah, that is that, um... Now it says the only other build that will get this energy. What what energy? It doesn't say what energy. <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. The only other build that will get this spirit energy. So like the spirit aura, like color, will be like sevens, the balance build. Um, irrelevant for now. Um, let's see, let's see. Now let's see. Imbuing spirit energy into magic gives spells a slight aura color of your spirit energy and removes the damage reduction from having a vitality related build. Um I'm not sure what this means. I assume it's talking about when you cast your spell, you get like damage reduced from resistance stat. Um yeah, so that's how that works. Resistant will be useless for Vitality to build, like the stat resistant. I know if you guys haven't been playing for the last few updates, Resistant is probably like something new to you guys. But basically, you know, is that what that means? You know, what I said earlier. Okay, I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I don't really want to work with many stats, so having Vitality build could help with that. Reduce like the options. Cut it down. Um, now let's see, spirit energy can also be imbued into magic, so your current equipped spirit weapon, what does that mean? Um, yeah, I don't know guys, I, I can't think of anything right now, but I mean, I assume you get different color depending on your spirit weapon. And also, you, you could imbue your fighting style, if you're a juggernaut. Right, a Vitality and Strength build, you can imbue your fighting style into your spirit weapons. Well, just weapons in general, right? Um, a little bit more complicated, but it's basically imbuing magic, but with like, you know, every other build. I don't know if I like where the game is going right now, like, there is way too many builds, like, half the update is just all about balancing, like, if you give yourself more work, the game is never gonna be balanced. Well, it's not supposed to be anyways, or it can't be, I feel like, whatever, but it's just more work, right, balancing, which also means we get less update if it takes longer to make something. Um, now let's see, imbuing spirit energy gives slight AOE increase to skills, yeah, I mean, over here is explaining like the knight's build, like, all the other vitality build, right? It's a little bit complicated, huh? But basically, the vitality and weapons build seems to give you the AOE, like increase to your area effect for your skills, but also negates the damage reduction from resistance stat, I assume, because it's also saying that again. Um, okay, sure. And it drains a small amount of your HP, right? That's, that makes sense. That's normal for spirit stuff. 
It's too powerful for you. <laughs> uh huh. Now let's see. It's repeating itself again, like the paragraph, right? Well, like it, it's like saying what it said up earlier. So I won't really go through it, right? Because all the vitality seems to do similar stuff. Mm hmm. Juggernaut is just saying you can imbue fighting style. Right, while gaining the fighting style's affinity and effects. Mm -hmm. So Iron Leg, you'll be like hitting people with like metal, right, and bleeding them. Like that's an example, right? That's how you like impute your fighting style. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Nothing crazy, huh? Well, this also means this update. Most people are gonna like either reset their file, I mean restart their file, or make a new file, right? Because if you want to try the Vitality build, it's going to take a while. Oh boy. Um, let's see. Now they said over here, finish adding Spirit Blast. Which is the first basic right? Right? I mean, I, get, I assume like they're like... Okay, they're basically weapon abilities. Okay, Spirit Blast is gonna be one of the first weapon ability. Spirit weapon ability. Man, they're they're making they're adding names to this concept, like this new concept to make it more confusing. But also it sounds cooler. Um but okay, I'll just make it simple, you know, by calling it just a weapon ability, you know, from the spirit. Oh man. But anyways, here's like a bunch of other paragraphs. Oh my goodness, dude. Well, I mean, they said basically some of the blessed spirit weapon, you know, had the power of the god, will have like different color, like aura, right? For example, like the exotic and legendary tier, they all have like a more prominent god aura, according to this description, so. Yeah, I mean, later on we'll get like cooler auras, but the normal basic ones, I assume just have like a little bit, you know, I assume. Um, yeah, okay. But now, let's see, they also said, Sphere Weapon will has three, each has three basic abilities, right? Such as Sphere Blast, basically they're like a new type of weapon that's like renamed as sphere weapons basically um okay cool cool now okay yeah it's repeating itself again that sphere weapons abilities will take like a small amount of your hp again since you're using your spirit energy you know god's power is too powerful for you so it's gonna damage you um yeah that's basically it besides like the weapon customization right i'm not too crazy about the weapon customization so i won't go through it but let me know in the comments if i miss anything right i need to get going um uh, and i'll see you guys in the game bye bye